It took Netflix more than three years to reach one million users, but it took ChatGPT just five days. Techies everywhere short-circuiting with excitement. OMG, ChatGPT is about to make my life ten times easier. But what is it? ChatGPT is a state-of-the-art natural language processing model developed by OpenAI. It is specifically designed for conversational language and is capable of generating responses to input in a way that mimics human conversation. That description, by the way, comes from ChatGPT itself. We asked. Think of it as Google, but with more human-like features. Plus, it's free. You can ask a very specific question like, give me five tips for how to use my camera. Uh, you can ask it to write a poem or a play or a song. Um, it really can kind of comprehend almost any request. And then it spits out language that sounds like it was written by a human being. We also asked it to write this entire script, which it did. But it didn't take into account that we need our expert to weigh in. A lot of the headlines are that this might make Google obsolete. Do you see that possibly becoming reality? If I were Google, I would be a little bit nervous just because this interface is sort of the thing that everybody has wanted forever. I mean, this, this is the closest thing I've seen to like the Star Trek computer. Um, where you say what you want and it responds instantly. For better or for worse, many educators are already worried about how ChatGPT might become a surrogate student when it comes to homework. Kids could use this to grade something which a teacher could probably not identify as not having been written by a human. Non-students can use ChatGPT for other tasks. Here's ChatGPT drafting an email to my bosses asking for a raise. OpenAI, the company behind ChatGPT, says it's using this technology responsibly. The bot won't answer any salacious questions, for example. But this is only the beginning. There will be other companies who come up with similar technologies who don't care so much about being responsible. ChatGPT isn't able to search the web for current events because its knowledge is compiled from things it learned before 2021. So Google still has a leg up there. But other than that, the AI chatbot can handle a lot. You should see the essay I had it right. For me, comparing Julius Caesar to Regina George from Mean Girls, it was very, very good. <laughs> five, five paragraphs came up like that. I also asked it to write a poem oh. about okay. you two. Ooh. It oh. said, I can Rhiannon, and they are the best. Their reporting is second to none and never less. They hold power to account and seek the truth. I can Rhiannon, and they are a proof that journalism is alive and well. The pursuit of truth is a noble tale to tell. So here's to Ike and Rhiannon, two reporters who are always on the run. You know what, chat, GTT? <laughs> That is so fetch. <laughs> so fetch. <laughs> it really is like amazing. So, you know, like I said, that essay about the mean girls and, and Julius Caesar, so, it comes up so like quickly. And what you can see it. Thank what you happened too. when you sent the boss asking for a raise? What did our boss say? Uh, I might, the control I... room is telling me I'm getting Aaron Judge numbers uh, <laughs> on my next contract negotiation. But where is this going to go? You know what I mean? Are we going to have this thing filling out like dating profiles now? Am I going to fall mm. in love with ChatGPT? I mean, that's the thing. It's like there's no telling really right. where it's going to go from here. And like he said at the end, you know, ChatGPT is saying that they are, you, you'll, you can ask it some like, salacious questions and it'll oh. say no uh but uh okay. yeah all right oh boy thank you will <laughs> more to come on that hi everyone george stephanopoulos here thanks for checking out the abc news youtube channel if you'd like to get more videos show highlights and watch live event coverage click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel and don't forget to download the abc news app for breaking news alerts thanks for watching